going on everybody so I am in the middle of some food prep right now so I'll show you what I'm making right now I'm making some uh, just some mahi mahi um, and this is beginning of the second week that I've been doing food prepping you know and following following this diet plan by uh, Matt Acton so I've already started to see some changes I'm down about eight pounds now and uh, that's within a week so uh, yeah last week I didn't end up getting up a video I've been trying to kind of figure out how to you know distribute my time with meal prep which has actually taken a lot more of my time than I thought it would uh, so between meal prep work working out um, and I've also been following his workout plan too, which he's given me. Um, I'm doing a four day split. And with that, it's actually a lot higher volume than what I've been doing. So I'm getting used to that too. I've been doing some cardio as well. Um, and with my dieting, I've been doing carb cycling. So I don't exactly know a bunch about it. I've sort of just started reading up about it. I know like the basics, but I don't know, you know, the specifics and I don't know it really well in depth. So if anybody knows about it a lot, you know, feel free to chime in in the comments below. Um, but from what I've read, basically what you're doing is you do a couple days low carb, almost no carb, then you bump it up and you have a, a couple high day carb days. And essentially what it's supposed to do is, from what I understand at least, um, kind of change your b body's dependence on energy sources. So as opposed to always going for carbs, um, you know, for those two days when you have almost no carbs, it's trying to gear it more towards uh, using fat as the energy source and protein. So you eat a lot of fat and protein for those two days, or however many days you decide to do it. And then um, on that third day, or, you know, however many next days, third, fourth, however many days you do high carb after, it's kind of just to rebuild your body back up, kind of bring it back to the norm, and then, you know, your next workout, pretty much use all that, all the glycogen, all the carbs, and deplete your body again. Um, so I did some posing this morning, all right, and I'll put a clip up of that, just kind of working on the posing, and uh, next time I go to uh, meet up with Matt, I'm going to have to work on it a little bit more with him, just to get, you know, the proper positioning down and everything, there's a fine balance, which, uh, I never really realized there was. So the fine balance between trying to open up your lats as well as keeping your core tight, and it's actually pretty challenging. Um, it's almost like um, it's almost like doing an exercise itself. You know, you're just holding and flexing, and to do it for a sustained period is actually somewhat tiring. You know, by the end I start shaking a little bit. So uh, I'm gonna go work on that more. But check it out. The two poses that I'm really doing, if I do. <clears throat> do physique, which I plan to do, is going to be a front pose, lats wide open, and then turn around, back pose, lats wide open, same thing. Um, but I threw in a back double by just to see what the back looks like, because you can't really see much definition just with the lat spread from behind. So uh, check that out. Let me know what you think. I do see a couple more cuts um, since I'm down about eight pounds, but we got a long ways to go before I'm anywhere near competition ready. All right. Thanks for checking out the video, guys. Have a good one.